Brett Kulak got a Rolex from Ilya Kovalchuk after Ilya Kovalchuk signed with the Canadians because he gave up his number. Ilya Kovalchuk, what number? 17. That's right. Kulak will now be 77, which I think is a better number anyway. It's cool. It's a better hockey number. Cool. It's yeah. a good hockey yeah. number. Um, but Ilya Kovalchuk wants his number. And by the way, that Ilya Kovalchuk signing was hilarious for a couple different reasons. First off, I think it's a good signing. Montreal yes. sort of fading a little. There's no risk. There's no risk. And they can't score goals. They cannot score enough goals. And so if Ilya Kovalchuk plays your Mason Marchman, he's your fourth line <laughs> winger, but he can actually go out on the power play and you've got cannon from Shea Weber and a cannon from Ilya Kovalchuk. You don't have to have those two cannons on the same power play unit. You can have them on separate units. It you doesn't sh- matter. You should throw out the Kovalchuk that you saw earlier this season. Yeah. Because that was a tremendously unmotivated athlete. Now, on a, now on, a that he's coming that, to, on a team that should have never signed him. Yeah. Now he's coming to Montreal, a team that seems to really energize guys. It's a new opportunity for him. He's all smiles. I think it could work out, man. Yeah. Makes 700 Gs. It's funny to hear Mark Bergevin, though, talk about it. And he's like, well, he knows it's his last chance. <laughs> it's <laughs> like true. He right out he's right. Yeah. Where's the I, lie? Mark I appreciated yeah. like, that. Yeah. And it's Druin, Byron, Gallagher, Armia who are all out. Like you got to take a chance with somebody. Yeah, and I you think know? isn't Armia back by the time Kovalchuk? Like, if they're going to give him, like, 10 games. Basically, right. that's what they said. They're like, we'll give you 10 games. If you can't make it work, see ya. And he's obviously got his money. He said he waved goodbye to the L.A. money. He's giving away a Rolex for a jersey number. He's got enough money. Yeah. Kovalchuk's fine. Yeah, he's been set for a while. Yeah, he yeah. he legitimately wants to win. And he was just looking for an opportunity to do it. Well, is Montreal his best option? I think he legitimately I wanted to sign in L.A. I don't think he legitimately wanted <laughs> to win. If he wanted to win, he would have signed with San Jose or somebody else. Well, when L.A. Did, when was did he not, sign with them? L.A. was clearly not a good team even then. Yeah, this offseason, I don't Tavares, think anybody looked at L.A. Players Pobre aren't job. always great at measuring their best chance to win. No, um, I think he wanted to play in L.A. Uh, well, the, the, I just everybody remember when, wants to win, but it'd be better to win in L.A., wouldn't it? Even probably. And I, just, win, I just remember when um, Aginla signed with the Avalanche when they weren't the Avalanche that they are now. Right. And I was just like, Jerome, no. Yeah. And sure enough, it was just a waste of time. But that might have been, at that point, he might not have had a lot of calls. Maybe not. Maybe not. And Maybe I'm, not not. Trying to insult, I'm not trying to be insulting. Oh, was like, he forced into that contract? <laughs> I, <don't laughs> <think it was. laughs> no. I, I know. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no, it's a, basically a no-risk move the for thing the was, Habs. Kovalchuk was wanted by Boston, San Jose, and L.A., and a few other teams, too. Mm-hmm. It's insane that L.A., I, even at the time, it was insane that L.A. signed him. Outrageous, so ridiculous. And it showed, and everybody's like, there's a lot of revisionist history going on with Kings fans right now because they have a good right. minor league team. A lot of people are like, well, no, see, they've been doing this on purpose because they got a bunch of good guys coming up. No. No. You wouldn't have signed Ilya Kovalchuk. No. It, it's great that your minor league... It, it's great that the AHL team's good, doing great. That's awesome. True. Sure. But the two don't have to be linked. They thought... Rob Blake and Luke Robitaille thought that the Kings were going to be good. But this was going into the 2018 season. Yes. And they legitimately thought, we're going to we're we're have gonna a make mini run. Yeah. It I was think ridiculous. They maybe looked at their first round series with Vegas, and they go, Flurry stole the whole damn thing. We can do this. We're we're gonna win just like we did a couple yeah. years. You ago. were ne- you were not rebuilding that year. No. It doesn't, and and it's like, no. did you see a game of his in the KHL? Can this guy even still skate? There's a lot of lot of brand recognition with him. Oh yeah. yeah. And then he came. And then do you remember the preseason game where he had that one play where he went end to end and he scored and and everyone's like, oh, on Twitter was like, oh shit. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, no, he's no. gonna be. 39 by the time this contract's over? What are you doing? No. Yeah. It's Casey. preseason. And I was about to say something like, you know, you know, if they make the playoffs, he's a great playoff performer. Like, remember his Stanley Cup run in 2012. That was seven years ago. It's That's even too long to even talk about that for a coach. Yeah. Well, he had a great, like, it's like Randy Carlyle. Well, he had a great playoff run in 2007. Or ba- Babcock, great, two great 2008, 2009. When Kovalchuk was in the Stanley Cup final, literally no coach in the NHL right now was the coach of the same team that they were in 20... Uh, it's a terrible way of wording it. John Cooper is the longest tenured coach. And he was four years ago? Uh, 2013. 13. Yeah. Wow. That's a long time. It is a long time. Oh, Six good years. Uh, good for him. Um, 
I do think it's a great move for Montreal. One one (laughs) thing I got tweeted at me a lot was right before the break, Carey Price went on like a 5-0-1 streak or something like that Mm -hmm. after I'd said, Carey Price has to hit a 9-20 save percentage for the Canadians to be in the playoffs. And where have they regressed to? You tell me. Carey Price has a 9-0-2 save percentage and a 3 goals against average, even. Sorry, guys. I saw a tweet. If if Montreal is going to make the playoffs, Carey Price has to be better than good. I saw a tweet that was, uh, he's gone from Jesus Price to Jesus Price. Yeah. <laughs> well, it like last night, or I think it was last, was last night or two nights ago. I think it was last night, the, the overtime game they lost. Um, that was Saturday. Yeah, that it was, was last night. Last night, Saturday. Yeah. So that game, he, he stood on his head. He had a great game, and they still couldn't win. Mm-hmm. And that's not on him. Like, he had, a, he had a terrible November, and then he has a great December. And then even when he's on his game, they can't win. A really flawed like, team, man. Yeah, it's that is capable of playing really fun, yes. especially when they're healthy. But, but Carey Price has to be a nine twenty minimum. He's got to be. He's got to be even good. better because even better when he's now. great, they can't win. How far did they get when he won MVP? I can't remember that year. Yeah, like second. Wasn't round? it second round? Yeah, maybe they won a first round series. I think. Man. I think they. I think they wasted the primes of Pacioretty and Subban. And Price and Price. And Price well, yeah. no, they, they had a couple Price. good runs. They had yeah. a couple good runs, but I think, boy. Oof, if they had just... Ah! Well, and the one year they uh, lost to the Rangers. I want to say the Rangers, that was 2014 when they went to the final. Mm-hmm. Uh, they lost to the Rangers in part because Price was out and they had Dustin Tokarski in net. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember that. I remember thinking, like, hey, maybe he's an up-and-coming guy that leaves can get for net. No! <laughs> not, turns out not. And Do you remember no. when it was uh, Cristobal Huey versus Carey Price? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah that was that a good was, battle. That was a major <laughs> battle. 